Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel today in this short video lecture i would like to guide you about depth and width of beam by thumb rule so let's get start guys as you can see guys this is the section of beam and you can see this is column 1 c1 or you can say c2 column 2 and the clear span between two column is 5000 millimeter or 5 meter this is clear span so if we have the span between two column 5000 mm so what should be the depth and width of the beam so let's get start guys as you can see guys this is beam and this is column one this is column two so we have the formula guys depth of the beam is equal by thumb rule okay l divided by 10 or l divided by 12 where L is the clear span between two column, okay? So therefore, guys, you can see the clear span is suppose 5 meter or 5,000 mm. So maybe it will be 3,000 mm or 2.5,000 or 6,000. So L divided by 10. So 5,000 divided by 10. So you will get the depth of the beam, which is 500 mm. So the depth of the beam should be 500 mm. Mm. This is the depth of beam. R L divided by 12. So where L is clear span is 5000. So divide by 12. So we required 14 6 mm. So maybe you can keep 14 416 mm. 416 mm. So you can take any one of them. Okay. But 500 is better than this one because factor of safety is very important in civil engineering especially for any kind of structure so now guys this is the formula to find out the depth of beam now if the span is about 6000 mm or 4000 mm okay so you can use the same formula which i have discussed the front of you by thumb rule okay now guys here we have the question what should be the width of the beam so the width of the beam you can find remember one thing guys that the width of the beam you can find by w divided by d so it should be greater than from 0 0.4 to 0 0.5 0 0.45 from the reference of is 13920 so this is from the reference of is indian standard code you can find this that the width of the beam should be the width of the beam should be divided by width divided by 2 greater than 0 0.4 from 0 0.4 to 0 0.45 so now guys remember that the width of the beam should not be less than 200 mm so therefore the width of the beam so width divided by depth as you can see here we have the formula width divided by depth suppose i am taking the minimum depth width which is 200 mm as you can see from the reference of is code so therefore 200 divided by 5000 500 that's why because the depth of the beam is 500 you can see this one okay so width 200 which is minimum divided by 500 which is depth then you will get the value 0 0.4 if you see here guys so 0 0.4 is greater or equal so between these two value so the depth is the width is safe so therefore we should provide uh, we should put factor of safety to increase the width of beam so therefore it is safe but i should increase its depth so you can keep up to this is 300 minimum 200 minimum so i can increase so let me take 300 mm so this is 300 mm okay so if you put here 300 let me do its calculation 300 so 300 divided by 500 let me do as you can see guys this is 300 divided by 500 so the value is 0 0.6 so if you see here this is 0 0.6 so now this is more better than this value as you can see so from 0 0.4 to 0 0.4 5 so this is safe but i, sh I should put a uh, factor of safety in this so therefore this is 0 0.6 so 300 is more better 
then uh, then 200 or 250 mm so guys this is the way to find out depth and width of the beam from the reference of 13920 by thumb rule not by steel structural design because there we need to know about uh, structure load of beam column foundation everything okay so therefore this is the easy way this this video is especially for those people which don't know about civil engineering especially for normal people they can use the same formula to find depth and width of the beam if that is two story three story anyway they can find the depth and width of foundation with this a formula which i have discussed hope this short video can help you thanks for watching see you in next video